Tonight on Thrill of a Lifetime, a newlywed cooks up a culinary duel between her husband and the amazing Iron Chef. Wow, this is freaking me out. Do I look nervous? Oh my god, this is so exciting. And the police clerk is thrown onto the Second City stage, totally unprepared. Is she ready to meet the master of improv? Meet Chris and Lisa Young, 31-year-old newlyweds. Chris is a computer software trainer with a passion for cooking. Passion's kind of an understatement. That's why his wife Lisa sent in this tape, a newlyweds plea for her man. My thrill of a lifetime would be to send my husband Chris to Philadelphia to meet Morimoto. Chris loves cooking, he loves Morimoto, and he absolutely loved the Iron Chef. Masaharu Morimoto is a mega TV star known as the Iron Chef. He also has a spectacular new restaurant in Philadelphia called, what else, Morimoto. His competitive samurai cooking style has won the hearts of fans everywhere, including Chris, a wannabe sushi samurai who idolizes the master. Well, my whole obsession from Morimoto comes from watching uh, the Iron Chef show. I mean, his passion for food, his passion for cooking is, is unbelievable. His presentations, um, he pulls things out of the air. That's what I kind of strive for in my own way when I'm cooking. It just started off as this small thing that just evolved and it became almost, you know, uh, almost an obsession. He's a young guy. Chris seems to have a lot in common with him. Chris has the same passion, I think. He just doesn't have the skill behind it yet to do it. Just last year, Chris and his wife traveled all the way to Philadelphia for their honeymoon and a chance to meet Morimoto. But when they got there, guess what? He wasn't there. It was his night off. Chris really will get to meet the master, but there's going to be a whole lot more to this thrill. Our second thrill seeker is Sandra Cousins, a 43-year-old receptionist at a police station. She may look pretty serious here, but Sandra has another side. She loves improv comedy. Hi, her. Oh. <laughs> Hi thrill of a lifetime. I would love to meet Second City, the cast of Second City. I've been taking improv classes, I'm just new to it, and it is hard. The sounds were good. <laughs> I, I really can't explain it. I just love making people laugh. Sandra, my baby sister, has been a laugh ever since she was born. She was always clowning around, and of course she was always doing something cute. Okay. <laughs> I was the youngest. I was center of attention. I liked it. <laughs> she always had somebody to perform to. And I think just because it started as a baby, she just kept it going and her personality developed like that. I think bottom line is I like to entertain. So we've arranged a coaching session with top Second City performers, but that's just the bait. Uh, um, what exactly are you going to do tonight? I'm going to be able to meet the cast of Second City and do a workshop with them. How many improv classes have you taken? Eight. <laughs> Eight? And you're going down to Second City to participate in a workshop? Yeah, I'm gonna buy one of those little bottles of wine. <laughs> so let's take another van. <laughs> the cast of Second City have an awesome job. They get to go out on stage every night. They get to make 200 people laugh. What a fantasy it would be to have their job. I really admire some of those comics that have gone through Second City. Oh, man, look at People like Mike Myers, John Candy, Colin Mockery, Catherine O'Hara. Their talent is just, it, it's amazing. I watch them and I, I think you make it look so easy. Oh, wow. Look out, girl. Your first surprise has just arrived. Sandra? Yes. Hi. Hi. I'm Steve Merrill. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm the producer here. Oh, okay. So uh, I hear your thrill is to come down and you're a bit of an improviser, I hear? Well, I've taken an intro class. <laughs> That's enough? <laughs> That's a start. As a producer, I believe anyone walking through or anyone I audition tomorrow can be the next Mike Mar Myers, right? Why not? Hey. Remember, Sandra thinks she's just here to meet the cast and maybe get a few pointers. Hello. But they're masters of improv, and they throw her a curve. Well, that's, uh, that's, 
really awesome that you're uh, joining us tonight for the show. Yeah, Thanks. yeah, yeah nice. really looking yeah. forward to it. Right yeah, 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 definitely. Cool. Yeah. So, are you ready to get on stage? Excuse me? You're coming on stage with us tonight. Yeah, yeah. we're going to improvise with you. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! They're not getting. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the brain is going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Chris's kitchen, he and his buddy James are holding one of their regular cook-offs inspired by the Iron Chef. I've made everything from stir-fry, sticky rice, barbecue, pork, jerk chicken, cheesecakes, regular cakes, dim sum, steaks, you name it, I've tried it. Chris has no idea what's going to happen next, and I have no idea how he's going to react to this, but I'm sure he'll probably be speechless. Do you have any raspberries kicking around, Chris? Yes. By chance? I'm sorry to interrupt. I have some good news for you. Yeah? Thrill of Lifetime is sending you back to Morimoto's restaurant. Only this time, Morimoto's going to be there to meet you personally. <laughs> really? But there's a catch. What's the catch? Coming up, Chris comes face to face with the Iron Chef. Holy cow. And Sandra gets her moment in the spotlight. Sandra Cousin! Here's the recap. Lisa revealed to her husband Chris that his thrill to meet the Iron Chef is finally about to come true, but there's just one catch. What's the catch? The catch is Chris needs to become a sushi expert and pronto. Morimoto has requested that Chris learn the fundamentals of Japanese cuisine out of respect to the master. At least that's what we've told him. I think he was really excited to go and have some lessons, and I think he was more curious and more nervous about what might happen, because he still didn't realize that this was real. It just kind of seemed like, okay, one minute I'm in the house, the next minute we're in the car, now we're going to some sushi place, I'm gonna have lessons, and oh my god, what else have you done to me? Hi, Chris, this is my uniform. You have to be serious. Chris is going to be trained by the city's top sushi chef. When you go to visit Morimoto-san restaurant, yeah. take a bow. So take a bow. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Yoroshiku. Yoroshiku. Onegai shimasu. Onegai shimasu. Mm -hmm. Easy for you to say. The whole thing, it was just like, I, I can't believe I'm here. That's what yeah. was going through my head. You know, I can't believe um, Hiro Yoshida is actually showing me how to hold a knife and how to cut sushi and how to actually make sushi and, and the California rolls that we did. The entire time I'm watching Chris, I'm trying to figure out what he's thinking in his head. And I can just picture him thinking, oh my god, what am I doing? I'm going to go meet Morimoto. And he has no idea why he has to learn any of this. So are you going to try it? So what do you think, Lisa? Do you think I'm ready to meet Morimoto-san? Mm-hmm. Run that by me again, Lisa. Mm-hmm. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tom. You did a great job. The night before we left for Philadelphia, I was freaking out. What am I going to wear? What am I going to say to Morimoto? I didn't sleep very well that night. Are you excited or nervous? Nervous. Last week, I stopped by the local bookstore and bought him the Iron Chef book so that he could read up a little bit and get some more information. I'm back again. I never thought I would come back. This is my thrill of a lifetime to come back. and. Uh, actually experience the food once again. I, I never thought I'd be back. Getting ready this morning, he was asking questions like, what should I ask him and what should I do? And what if he thinks, you know, I don't know what I'm doing? And I think it's finally started to hit him now and he's all nervous and he's a little bit stressed. So I tried to explain to him that Morimoto's gonna understand he's not a professional chef, he's just a hobby chef and that he just really loves doing it and I'm sure that'll show through. I'm nervous because I'm just about to meet Morimoto. I've been thinking about what I'm going to do with him, what I'm going to say. I've been tr desperately trying to remember what Hiro uh, Yoshida told me to say to him. And I can't remember. <laughs> so I'm just going to bow and be very courteous and polite. And whatever happens, happens. Lots is going to happen, Chris. Meanwhile, we've brought Sandra, a huge improv fan, down to the Second City Comedy Theatre to meet the cast, her heroes, and they've just told her she's got to perform with them, wait for it, 
tonight. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll come out, we'll call you out, because that's what we do whenever someone's joining us, whatever. Okay. Let's call you out, and then what we'll do is we'll do, you've done some games and stuff before. Like, have you ever played options? No. <laughs> no? No, no options? I was excited. I was nervous. I was thrilled. You excited, Sam? Oh, yeah. Don't make me look hey. bad. Okay, I won't. All right. All right. Huh? All right. All right. I gotta make all you guys look good. Hey! Your wine, madame. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Sandra was getting just a bit too relaxed, so we brought some surprise guests backstage. Oh, shit! Her sister, Dale, and Sandra's kids, Stephanie and Darren. The audience is full of Sandra's family and friends, guaranteed to paralyze even the most seasoned performer. Dad's here. Angela's here. here. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm not going on. Oh, yes, you I'm are. not going yeah. on. But there's someone else on our secret guest list who's here to see Sandra perform. The master of improv himself, star of Whose Line Is It Anyway? I, I take it the cast knows. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I'm Colin Mockery. You'll wait backstage, okay, and then she'll call you out. Yes, I will. Okay, I've only taken an intro class of improv, so I'm a little nervous. Just one minute to showtime. Right. Three cheers for Sandra. Hey, so what we do is we... Uh, Whatever happens, happens, and this is going to be more of a thrill than, <laughs> than I thought it was going to be. So, uh, Thrill of a Lifetime is here, and uh, they uh, have someone whose thrill was to do improv, and uh, so she's on the main stage here at Second City. So please give a very warm welcome to Sandra Cousin! Oh, God. It was just, let's go, people. Let's see what comes out. We've strategically placed Chris and Lisa at the front of the restaurant, and it's killing them to know that the master is at work just behind them. I've got to stop looking back there. I was thinking, why are we, why are we in, this, in, in this seat? This is probably the worst seat in the restaurant to be in. And my back was to, um, was to the sushi bar. So I, I couldn't even see what was going on back there. I, you know, I'm turning around and, and Lisa keeps yelling at me to stop turning around, just <laughs> eat your food. While we were sitting there, I of course could see everything going on behind Chris and he was completely oblivious. So I actually saw Oh My approach the table first and had no idea what he was gonna say. So you think what it takes to be su chef? <laughs> you see you later. See you later? Was that some kind of a challenge? And Chris just had this look on his face like, oh my god, what is that supposed to mean? All of my lessons from Hero started coming back to me thinking, oh no, somebody's going to ask me to make sushi, somebody's going to ask me to make California rolls, how the hell do I do it? I don't, <laughs> I've just suddenly forgot everything. Say something. <laughs> Would you like to go back there? Yes. <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Eat your dessert first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming up. Wow, this is freaking me out. Thank you. Chris accepts the Iron Chef's challenge, and Sandra gets to meet the master. Here's where we're at. Lisa has surprised her husband Chris with a trip to Philadelphia to meet his hero, Iron Chef Morimoto. Chris was thinking he was there just to meet Morimoto, and he had no idea about the opportunity that was about to come. It was so hard to keep everything a secret. Hi, Chris. I'm Morimoto. I'm the Iron Chef. Hi. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. How are you? So nice to meet you. Yeah. Mr. Morimoto. So how do you think about the, my restaurants? Oh, it's fantastic yeah. in here. Sit down. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Wow. So Hi, nice it's to meet an you. honor to meet Hi. you. Are you interested about the uh, becoming sous chef or making sushi? Sure. Yeah, okay, please follow me. I, I, I give you a tour at my kitchen. Oh, fantastic. Boom, Thank up you. out of my chair. Lisa, at this point, is, is totally gone. <laughs> I think she's still sitting at the table, and I just start to follow him. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, my God, this is so exciting. And he deserves this so much. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> 
<laughs> Holy cow. All kinds of stuff here in the sermon. Wow, this is freaking me out. I'm actually standing behind uh, Morimoto's sushi bar. Do I look nervous? At this point, I'm just obeying blindly. I don't know, I'm really not thinking. I'm just like, okay, sure. I put the chef's uniform on and the apron. Then comes the sushi challenge. I'm gonna give you uh, my chef, Ariki Omae. Okay. So you should compete. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes. Okay, you can, you can make whatever you want, like this. Okay. To do that? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Omae! I was really in shock when, when he said, or he announced the competition. Um, I was thinking, you know, there's no way. I've had like, two hours or one hour of, of sushi lessons. This was going to be disastrous. Uh, I'm up against his head sushi chef. I was stressed. Okay, 10 minutes. You should make that at least the... Uh... At least one? No, 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 I don't think so. Five. At least five? Five. I think I need a head start. No, no frying wheel. <laughs> Morimoto became my sous chef. He was going to help me out, which was really exciting. And the competition started. Go! Can you give me the right amount of rice? Yes, I go, go, go. You know, sushi, he was right. When you look at it, it sometimes looks easy just going through it. But when you actually do it and the rice is all over your hands, um, it's quite a different experience. So. I think he can do it. I'm not quite sure at this point he actually beat him, but uh, he's looking good doing it, so that's the important thing. And he's getting a lot of help, so it's good. <laughs> Morimoto's standing beside me, watching me. The waiters were all gathered around, and I was thinking, oh, no, this is, this is not good. Don't watch him. Don't watch him. Concern to yourself, but I, I help you, okay? Okay, thank you. As I was watching Chris in the sushi competition, I couldn't help but think this is as much my thrill as it is for Chris. Chinese tickets! Getting faster, faster, faster. Hey, finger. Hey. Five. Hey. Four. Hey. Three. Two. One. Done. Go, hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Seven. Great. Now, how many did Omai make? Yeah, my dream came true to meet him. It was fantastic. It was an unbelievable experience. It was way more than I ever imagined would happen. Coming up, Sandra gets the punchline of her life. We've lured improv comedy fan Sandra Cousins down to the Second City main stage just to meet the cast, but they've thrown her on stage before a live audience, and she has no idea that the star of Whose Line Is It Anyway, Colin Mockery, is waiting in the wings. It's clear to me that you're upset in this uh, relationship, sweetheart. Sandra's playing a dissatisfied wife, but can she get the laughs? If you want to end this, we can, we can end this relationship. Well, no, we have too many debts. We can't end now. I felt like I belonged there. It was just, oh man, this is really cool. We got a good point, besides you're pregnant. <laughs> oh yeah. Just to see her, she was like on a cloud. She was, her feet were not on the ground. Why don't you recite that poem that just recited <laughs> on the night we met? Roses are red. Yeah, that one. Violets are blue. blue. What, what would, would I, I do without, without you? I had to be focused on me and Pat, what we were doing. Well, I was oblivious to everything else going on. I took the liberty of inviting up a marriage counselor to help us through our problems. We have problems? Well, yes, he's, he's right here. He's, <laughs> There's Colin Mockery. That just blew me away. I just was not expecting that at all. What are you laughing about, sweetheart? This is serious stuff. This is Bob, the marriage counselor. Hi. Hi, Bob. Hi, I had the my name legally changed to Bob, the, the marriage, marriage counselor. counselor. Some wine? Hello, yes, please. <laughs> Uh, 
Thank God you didn't have a corked one. <laughs> oh, you're pregnant. <laughs> I just remember feeling thrilled about everything that was happening to me. I can say I've done improv with Colin Mockery. <laughs> What do you need in this marriage that you're not getting? That I can help you with? <laughs> well, there's a lot of problems in the bedroom. Can you help me? I'm an expert at these things. <laughs> Come to this chart. <laughs> That's me naked. Okay, I think he can help me. All right. <laughs> it was just so cool. It was just so, so cool to actually have done that and to have met him. It was just like such a rush to see her so happy and to see her doing this. It was just great. I'm extremely proud of her. It meant so much for me to do something like that. I don't know what's ever going to top this. It's very flattering to be someone's thrill of a lifetime, and I think it shows great intelligence on Sandra's part. <laughs> man, oh man. I'm still speechless. I'm just still speechless from that night. Tell us your thrill, and we will make it happen. Go to thrillofalifetime.ca. I crack up watching you all the time. You and Ryan, oh man, I together. Everything. I'm sure you did. You, you know, you saw. I can we tell. We worked together. You saw. Yeah. It, I just yeah. leave them alone. Yeah.